new to Black Desert Online and would like some answers to your varying questions, <laughs> well, you have come to the right place, my good friend. I hope. Welcome to the first in a series of Black Desert Online guides. Uh, today's guide, we're going to be looking at nodes, uh, their costs, which is the contribution points, uh, linking nodes together and getting the most out of your nodes via the workers and the housing. Sounds quite a lot, but trust me, we'll get there. Well, to start with, what are nodes? Well, simply, they are they're the locations on the world map locations that you can invest in and this is that's where the contribution points come in but like i said we'll get there <laughs> investing in these nodes will allow you to establish trade routes between different towns just like connecting dots really like you used to do when you were a kid <laughs> if two towns are connected by the nodes and you establish trade route simple really easy nodes can also contain resources uh, valuable or not depending on your stance. Uh, they'll help you with cooking, alchemy, crafting, blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff. And that is where the workers come in. Because we don't want to be doing all that ourselves. So how do we invest in one of these nodes? Well, firstly, we have the main towns, which are technically nodes, but we already have those available to us there, like your starting point. However, the other nodes are the ones that we need to spend our points on. Uh, the top left of your screen next to your level, at the bottom of those like three little XP bars is where you'll find the contribution points, do quests, or come across a new area, you'll, you'll gain contribution XP. Fill the XP bar up, get a contribution point. Nice and simple. So now that we've got, let's say we've got a few contribution points built up, next would be to check to see if we can afford to invest in the node that you are looking at. Uh, this is before we'll actually go there physically because that's what we'll need to do to actually purchase it. So what we're going to do is just open the world map up, uh, locate the node that you're after and just click on it and this will zoom the map in to the node and show you some information about that node, what's going on, yada yada yada. The little box on the left will tell you how much it's going to cost you in contribution points to invest in it. Uh, you can only invest in a node that is directly connected to another one that you already own or a town which you kind of already technically own. So if you do not have the node connected to another one then you'll see the little button instead that tells you that the previous node needs to be connected. Just simply click on that and it will zoom the map back out and show you some beams of light on the map to tell you where the connected ones to that particular node are. So that's the ones you need to go to first if you haven't got those connected as well. Sorted. Now that we've got the points and that all connected, we need to actually go there physically in order to invest. <laughs> so we're gonna to need to go to the node you're after and find the node manager. This is the person we're gonna to need to talk to to spend our points. Right, now that we've done all that, we've got the node, we can look at the resources that that node has to offer. So we've got the connected nodes all the way back to the town, that connects it to our warehouse and our storage. So looking at this one in particular, this one has the resources, uh, the potatoes. They're uh, very good. These are very useful for making things like beer, which is used for uh, restoring the stamina of your workers, so very, very useful indeed. So, as well as the nodes, the resources of those nodes also take contribution points to invest in. So now we're nearly there, getting very close. So now we need some help to do this. We're going to need workers, but first of all, before we even get to the workers, we need somewhere for those workers to live when they are not actually you know, working. <laughs> so back into the world map again, we're gonna look at Velia Town for this one, Velia Town rather, uh-huh. And this is the sort of first town you get chucked into after Olivia, but we'll get past that. We can see all the available housing uh, we have available to us. Uh, again, this is another one that is gonna cost even more contribution points, again. So we need to look at one that we can afford. It really costs you like one point and we want to purpose it as lodging. This will allow us to 
hire a worker. He's got somewhere to live when he isn't under our whip. <laughs> so, very good. Now that we have that as well, we are one step away. We just need to get the actual worker himself. And we are going to have to look for this guy on the map. Again, in Velia Town, he is the worker manager or whatever. Yeah, work manager. That's the guy we're going to need to look for. <laughs> so we want to talk to him and contract a worker and it'll take five of your precious energies in order to look at one and then you can expend another five if you don't like the stats you're given to re-roll essentially and get a new worker to come up and try your look to try and get some better stats. Uh, looking quickly at the stats you've got the work speed which is simply how quickly they can actually complete a task their strength, which is how many tasks they can do in a row before we need to be fed, which is your beer, you know, the stamina. The look, the chance or likeliness that they'll get a rarer material after they've completed a task. And the movement speed is just simply the speed at which they travel between certain points. Whew, all that's done. Now we've got a worker, we've hired him, he's got his house, we've got the node, we've got the resources. Last thing to do is to put him to work. Back in the map once more, we're going to click on that node that we invested in, click on that resource that we invested in, click start work with our worker, and he's just going to get straight to it. Oh, that was a lot to digest. But that's it, once he's finished that job, he will put those potatoes in the storage so that we can use at a later time. That's something we have to do ourselves. But that's for another episode. Um, so that's it. You've got you've got yourself a start, and I hope you enjoyed this guide. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.